हजार से मैं इंग्लिश इंस्टीट्यूट अपंदी टाउन कैंपस की टीचर हूँ क्या आप भी परेशान हैं प्रेजेंटेशन देने की वजह से तो मेरे पास कुछ की पॉइंट्स हैं जो खौफ के लिए आपकी मदद करेंगे कि प्रेजेंटेशन देते कैसे हैं Everybody will lose. 
you cannot win okay your eye contact must make it sure that when you are speaking to somebody you are whether you are conversing to somebody or like you are having a social discussion you are uh, speaking in a shape of a speech in a shape of presentation however you are speaking must make it sure you are looking at your second holder's eyes you must make it sure that you are looking you are facing your opponent okay whether you are not uh, not confident but do not let it uh, be like do not let this know anybody that you are feeling hesitation fine so like for example uh, i am uh, speaking in front of you or my hands are moving themselves i am not deliberately moving them but if once i start moving them deliberately more than need so it becomes awkward it becomes awkward it becomes artificial it becomes artificial nobody likes artificial things we all want to see we all want to listen natural things when you speak naturally okay whether you have framed anything whether you have memorized anything obviously uh, students memorize presentation some students are there who write themselves who uh, like who also write themselves but also uh, take help from any social media google youtube they take help and then they memorize their, their presentation but when you come here you speak that you are reading you speak that you are reading okay you speak that you are reading a uh, like uh, if you feel that uh, i cannot perform well like if i will be using my body gestures if my if i will be uh, uh, having my facial expressions so uh, some people uh, may think awkward but it's not like that people have interest about your body language okay people have interest about your body language about your body gesture about your facial expressions more than your knowledge more than your stuff whether you have a good knowledge whether you have a good stuff okay you have made your presentation well but if you cannot perform that well okay if you don't have some ideas to uh, put your idea that you have in your mind put that idea into your listeners mind as same as you have if you cannot uh, explain that idea well uh, by using your hands or like uh, by having some captivating expressions if you cannot do some uh, such kind things so your knowledge is useless whether your knowledge is a very good you are very good at knowledge okay if i assign you any question okay and you have a lot of information about that question you think that i have a lot of knowledge but if you don't have body gestures if you don't use your body language if you don't maintain your eye contact with your audience so it means your knowledge each and everything you have is totally useless because your body gestures i am using my hands i am having some expressions all the things are giving some messages some some uh, sometimes your knowledge is not enough sometimes your knowledge is unable uh, to give a message okay but your body language your expressions can give that message okay if i have something to make you understand but my words are not enough my words are unable to make you understand okay but if i will be doing some expressions if i will be using my hands my body gestures okay so you can understand so your body language your gestures okay you can also walk the room when you are speaking you can walk around the room like when you connect your entire body with your knowledge so you like your mind start giving you signals more because you you focus on your knowledge okay you you are focusing on your knowledge you are not thinking about your like students like your uh, audience don't think about them only focus on what you are going to say another thing is also there which is voice tone 
some people are there who are confident who can perform well who have a lot of knowledge okay but because of their voice tone they lose okay if i speak with a slower voice okay so the students are sitting there they cannot listen me so must make it sure that your voice the, the tone of your voice must be appropriate so that everybody of from your listeners will, will be listening you or like carefully or well that what you are saying your voice tone must be audible must be clear to each person from your listener okay and sometimes uh, while giving presentation uh, we we feel that we are forgetting something okay we feel that i am forgetting some of the points now what should i do okay some people think like that that uh, i have forget my like some students are there who think that uh, when i will go there to perform at this place i forget anything okay i will forget anything some people think some students think like that so what do you need to do at the time okay take a break you must not say that i am feeling hesitation you must not say that i have forget my point if you say so means you are showing your weakness and weakness must not be shown your weakness is your strength got it if you are feeling that i have forget something i have uh, left something so what do you need to do take a break okay you can take some pauses you can take uh, some uh, like uh, you can make your uh, make your speaking slower like speak slowly slowly and gradually okay then when your mind takes time to think then it uh, starts giving you signals like uh, after some time you may know that what are you saying okay like uh, take some take a take a break when you have forget anything take a break take a break and uh, you can ask questions to your students like uh, are you understanding what am i saying are you enjoying what am i saying okay do you have any question you can ask when you when you think that i am forgetting anything you can take a break and uh, start asking questions to your students and when you feel that you have known uh, or you have uh, you have an idea then continue but you must not say that i have forget anything or uh, i can i am feeling hesitation do not show your weakness do not show your weakness take a break take a long breath think about that walk the room connect your body connect your body when you connect your entire body with your knowledge it starts giving you signals because you are focusing on on one thing okay you are focusing on your knowledge uh, like remember how were you like how were you practicing when you practice your presentation at home remember what was i memorizing after that point or what was the next point or if you are not uh, memorizing that point then leave that point and go further but uh, some students are there like uh, after greeting or after saying two three points they say i have no i have nothing to say i cannot uh, speak any longer or i am done so try to speak and make yourself who you want to be okay this is a place like, like once you start like uh, facing your weaknesses or facing hurdles at that time this that is the time to grow that is the right time which uh, which is to be grown we think that let the right time come okay it's fine if i haven't performed well in this presentation i will perform well in another presentation let the right time come right time never comes you have to make your right time yourself you if you want right time uh, make it struggle for it think this is my right time i am going to do that right now so i hope that you have learned a lot of things from my uh, this questions and now you are going to give the best presentation ever okay have you learned something from me yes. how should you give a presentation have you learned like i think that uh, some of the students are there who used to give presentation standing at the one place or binding hands or leaving hands without any like body language or speaking like you are reading some of the students used to give uh, presentation like this 
but now i know that you are not going to uh, give presentation like that any longer because now you have known what are the ways to give an eye catching presentation what are the ways to give uh, a captivating presentation now you have known have you known now are you going to give your presentation in a great manner or not yes yes okay